Now, since you're in North Texas and since your friend Ted Cruz uh, committed political suicide last night, I watched him this morning in front of your delegation, the Texas delegation, and he said, well, some of my promises and vows and signed documents have expiration dates, got to use it by, and because... Because Trump said some bad things about Heidi and Raphael, my wife and my father, uh, my promises are not, not operative anymore. And he wrapped himself in the American flag and said, it's okay for me uh, to lie. And, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. All that does is help elect Hillary Clinton, which continues this nation on the, on the slide down the tubes. What do you think as a North Texas resident about your U.S. senator violating his promise? Well, I want to remind you, he was born in Canada, not in Texas. Okay, right. That's true. <laughs> if he was born in if he was born in Texas, he would have been brought up better. Um, so I, I'm, I'm honestly, I voted for him. I did, and I, I'm ashamed to say that now because yeah, it was absolutely embarrassing last night. And um, uh, I thank God, you know, that the night wasn't a total loss. But but watching him. Um, I, I just, the whole thing is embarrassing, honestly. I gotta tell you, I'm embarrassed for Kasich. I'm embarrassed for, um, for, uh, Gingrich. Um, you know, I, I've got a crush on Laura, though. Uh, but, but the rest of the guys. Laura, I'm you mean Laura Ingram? For. Laura Ingram. Yeah. She was good. Yeah. She was good. Oh, my gosh. She was amazing. And she looked right in the camera and said, and pointed at Hillary. I love that. But that's guts. That's the kind of guts we're missing from these politicians these days. Well, all we're going to do is give the nation over to the third Obama term, which has brought us Obamacare, southern border wide open, incredibly high deficits, no positive international relations. We have uh, situations where the federal government is regulating industries like coal mining out of existence. Distance. She's going to double down the first four years of her term. She'll keep running to the left because she didn't want to have a primary opponent in four years to beat her in the primary. So this woman's going to be nothing but a leftist, as Obama has been. And so this country is going to continue to go down the tubes the next four to eight years. And, and I'm not down in neighbor with Trump either. I'm, I'm going to vote for the guy. The one thing I want to know, Mosquito Steve, is who do you want nominating individuals for the U.S. Supreme Court? Do you want Obama doing it, or do you want Trump doing it, or do you want Hillary doing it? Of those three, uh, Obama's been doing it without much success from my viewpoint. He nominates leftists. Hillary promises more of the same. We're going to have Sotomayors from here to the uh, for the next 20 years. We can't afford it. We can get rid of Hillary in four years at the ballot box. But but if if she elects if she puts in four to five U.S. Supreme Court justices, that's the next thirty years. Mosquito Steve, we can't recover from that. No, no, we can't. And in fact, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Obama having a third term and declaring martial law and stuff. And I have to tell you, I have thought this for a year, and I'm not one of the. I'm not a kook. I promise, I'm not a kook. But I've heard people talk about that, and and you know what? It would not, nothing would surprise me at this point. And so, yes, I definitely want Trump um, or some conservative making the decision um, and, and putting those Supreme Court justices in there. Because I am definitely afraid we're going to lose the Second um, uh, sure. Amendment. And, um, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm very worried for this country. Our small businesses are getting killed. They're getting killed right now. We've got to do something to support small business. And another left-wing um, office holder is not going to do us any good. Look at this way. Heller was a 5-4 decision that said on the Second Amendment it's a personal right to carry. 5-4 decision. The four dissenters said, bring a case like that back again after Hillary has been in the White House. So you substitute Scalia with another Sotomayor. That goes 5-4. to four. You're going to have two or three more. Uh, you got four justices in their 80s. They're going to step down. There's going to be no right to carry under the Second Amendment. We're going to fundamentally change the relationship between individual Americans and our government. The rules and regulations will obliterate more middle-class jobs, throwing more people into welfare and public assistance, which are loyal Democratic voters. There's a long-term plan not to have a southern border whatsoever. We have 150 million living in Central America and South America that want to come here. You have the migration from Africa and from Middle East into Europe. You have the migration into America from Central America and South America. There's nothing to stop them, nothing at all. And Obama has done his part. Now Hillary's going to do her part. The middle class wages will continue to fall. Welfare will continue to go up. We're going to borrow more and more money to have a debt crisis. The U.S. military's got 40,000 layoffs coming by the end of the year as there's 40 million Obama phones all over the country. Everything that Saul Alinsky said would happen 
happened 50 years ago is now happening, and I feel powerless to stop it because we have men like Governor John Kasich and Senator Ted Cruz that care more about themselves than the country. And, Steve, I want you to get Ted Cruz under control, and I'll get Kasich under control. We put them both in power, and we can take them both out of power. And it's, but we're not far from having illegal aliens make those decisions for us. No. I mean, here in Texas, we just, you know, we, you don't even have to show an ID to vote. It's ridiculous. Fifteen justices decided that. Ten of them were conservative, and yet we're, we're Republican. And yet we just, we just, now, uh, you don't have to show any ID to vote. I don't get it. What is, what's wrong with these people? Why aren't they thinking? I, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. Well, I'm, to, to, very, I'm very scared. If you're, I'm I want a young to, man. Well, I, well, we ought to say, look, <laughs> if you don't need an ID, why do I need an ID to get on an airplane? If voting is not is not as important as getting on an airplane, try getting on an airplane without an ID. Just try buying alcohol without an ID if you're in your 20s or 30s. All these things are required to have an ID. There's nothing more fundamental to democracy than the power of the ballot box to change the direction of our government. And if more and more liberals and conservative judges are saying you don't need an ID to vote, don't have to be a citizen. What that means is we don't have a country at all. We have no state lines. We have no federal. We have no southern border. And that's where we are right now. And Hillary promises more of the same. She's a liar, according to the FBI director, and her husband's a sexual pervert. How can anybody put a pervert and a liar back in the White House to give them four to eight more years to fleece the American public, take money from Saudi Arabia, who uh, brutalize women and children? It's amazing to me that more and more people don't see. Trump is an imperfect vessel. He's not the perfect candidate. He screws up a lot. But damn it, he, he's not a liar, and, and he's not a sexual deviant. You can't put a couple like that in the White House, Mosquito Steve. And if we do that, we're going to get the government we deserve. And that worries me a little bit, too. Yeah, well, we don't have any conservatives in office anywhere anymore. I, the conservatives are gone. We've got uh, Republicans, but the conservatives are gone. I think Mike Pence. I, Mike, no, I'm, Mike Pence. How about Mike Pence? Did you hear him last night, Mosquito Steve? Mike Pence. I did not. I miss. I miss. He him. was good. I went to bed early. Good. Good. <laughs> was he really good? Oh, that's awesome. Good. He's a conservative's conservative. Ted Cruz cares more about his wife's feelings than the United States of America. John Kasich, our governor, cares more about his personal political goals, which is the presidency in four years, than he does about the country. He, Kasich wants to defeat uh, 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 Trump so that in four years the country may turn to him. But we conservatives are not going to forget when the moment came for choosing what he did in 2016. And, and I have a, uh, a, uh, a T-shirt sent to me by an Ohio delegate, uh, this guy sent me a T-shirt that says the following. It says, Ohio against the world. And John Kasich wants uh, Ohio's delegates tonight to wear T-shirts that say, Ohio against the world. So Kasich cares more about himself than the country, and that's a big problem. And why are people supporting that? That's a, you know he's got a whole line of people that are supporting him. That's what I don't understand. Don't people don't they do any? Do they not read anymore? Is that the problem? We're not educated. Yeah, we're, we're not. not informed. We're not. You know we live in the infor- <sighs> we live in the information age, but we're the most illiterate politically. Have you seen some of the Jesse Waters interviews on uh, on O'Reilly? Have you seen some of yeah. the sidewalk interviews? People have no clue. They know about Taylor Swift's fight with the Kardashians on the videotape, but they have no clue about what's going on in the country. And you would think Kasich and Cruz have a clue, but they don't have a clue. They care about themselves more than the country, and that's sad. It is. It is sad. And the less informed they are, the more likely they are they're going to vote for Hillary. Well, that's true. Well, Mosquito Steve, we got to go. I'm going to put you on hold to give you an address, okay? That sounds great. Thank you, Willie. Stay right there. Don't move. Mosquito Steve from North Texas.